Simon is sleeping. Sounds like my baby is in here doing my dishes. I was gonna do that, you don't do it. Huh? Like I was gonna do it. You can go in with the baby because I'm about to go work out. I'll finish up in here. my hair look like Diana Ross or no? I washed it early and I blow dried it like 70% of the way and then um, I just decided to put it back on because I had to run to the store and all of that and so just pretty much it's been air drying on its own ever since. I think it's pretty dry and I'm going to still let it sit out overnight because it cap. I want to make sure that's dry and then tomorrow I'm going to straighten it out and maybe put some curls in it. I haven't worn like curls since like my birthday, I think. So that's the plan. But I wasn't even gonna vlog today because I just wasn't in the mood today. But I just put up today's vlog and put the thumbnail on it and did my annotations and all that stuff. Like after the vlog is like edited, it still is a ton more work to do as far as um, getting it properly set on YouTube so I just did that Derek put Diamond down to sleep or down for bed so I'm excited about that but it seems like as soon as I put that video up I got a burst of energy I think I just felt accomplished even though it's like 10 right? so um, he helped me he pr pretty much put the dishes away so now I'm about to, it's cold outside, so this is going to sit here into the morning. This is some of the recyclables, um, but right now I'm about to change into a sports bra and some gym shoes and try to get a good 20 minute workout in. I honestly didn't feel like going to, to the gym before, but I guess I feel accomplished because I got my vlog up, so... You guys are gonna come to the gym with me. Um, what was I about to say? Hopefully, nobody's in there. I have like 45% battery on my phone, so hopefully, it won't die. Because yesterday, it died. While I was. Oops. Sorry. Yesterday, it died while I was working out, and I don't want it to die tonight. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm gonna work out. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm gonna listen to my Young Thug because that's been my favorite. Something that I'm excited about is I finally got back to the point where I can do this elliptical without holding onto the rails. Because when I first started back coming down here, like I have to hold onto the rails or I'll fall or feel like I was gonna fall. So I got my balance back together, which is pretty cool. But let's get into this workout.
gym session was mad real. I did my 20 minutes plus the three minute cool down that comes with it. And now I'm about to head upstairs. <sighs> I thought of something. Before I go back upstairs, I thought I'd just sit on this couch really quickly. I've never, ever, ever sat on this couch before in our little sports lounge. But I was just um, thinking about like my vlogging and how like sometimes I come to you guys with chit chats and things like that. The thing about it is sometimes like I'll talk for like 30 minutes straight and I'll just cut it down um, to make it quicker. Or like last night I was talking about relationships and my camera cut out. And um, I like to just talk to you guys about what comes to mind at that moment. Um, sometimes a lot of stuff is left out. That's why I always open up, open it up to be a discussion with you guys. So like if you guys leave me comments or you know want to make it a discussion, I'm more than welcome or I'm more than more than willing to like chat with you guys about a lot of things because um, sometimes even for myself, like I'll just vlog and then like i'll watch the playback and sometimes i don't necessarily get my full point across so um it's like sort of like unauthentic for me to like come back the next day after i've watched the footage back and try to like add more in and i don't want to just like not include that stuff if you know i feel compelled to discuss certain things with you guys but i just want you guys to know that like for example as i was on my way down to the gym um somebody was watching i guess my birth video and they were um laughing at the fact that when i was crying after i had diamond um or not after i had diamond but when i had um went into labor i had a doctor's appointment long story short and the doctor told me go over to the hospital because you're dilated and it's time for you to have a baby you're in labor and i started crying that was my genuine initial reaction and my crying was more so for me than the baby and I don't think I ever specified or clarified that um, for you guys. I knew that my son was healthy. I knew that um, my son was okay. You know, I believe in God. I pray. You know, I know that like my mom in heaven is watching over him. Dad's there, or Derek's dad is in heaven and he's watching over the baby. And I always thought that when, um, you know, when I was pregnant, you know, like I've never met Derek's dad, but I always used to like pray and I would like talk to him. Like, I know you don't know me. I know you never met me, but you know, I'm the mother of your grandchild, and I know that you're in heaven, but, you know, I just believe in heaven, and I believe in spirits, and I know that's a whole different, you know, subject that's very controversial, so I don't want to bring too much of that into it, but my point is that um, my initial reaction when I was crying, when I found out that I was in labor, was more so me being scared, me being scared of... Um, I woke up that morning expecting to go to my doctor's appointment at 10.45, go straight to work, and I still had two weeks before um, my son was due. So even though I knew that it was a possibility that he would come early, I just didn't expect it that day, that morning. So I was in shock. Derek was at work all the way in Calabasas, so like I was by myself, you know, and I just didn't know what to expect. I didn't, like I said in the video, I didn't shave. I didn't do my toes. And those are just things that, like... I guess are girly, like, truly unimportant things. But at that moment, I was not afraid of, like, complications for my son. I wasn't, I never was fearful that, like, something will be wrong with him or that he would, like, be breached or that, you know, I was afraid, like, for example, like, that I would have to go to have a C-section or just the pain or the fact that I was by myself at that moment. And um, I don't know. Yeah, that was just my initial reaction. But I just wanted to clear that up, that it wasn't about, like, me being selfish and saying, like, I'm crying because, like, my toes aren't done in, like, sort of a petty, selfish way. It was just more so that I wasn't fearful of my baby being, or my baby coming into the world. It was more so the bigger picture. Like, I'm afraid because in just a few minutes or a few hours, I'm going to be a mom and my life is forever changed. Even though the whole, you know, eight, nine months that you're pregnant, um... You know that and you're preparing for that. And I was prepared mentally, but when it's about to happen, it's like, even after labor, like you're in that room, that postpartum room, and you're like, okay, they're not taking the baby to go to a nursery. Like there's no, somebody's gonna take the baby or there's no, you know, 
baby monitor that's going to help you through it. Like, as soon as he comes out, they clean him up, weigh him, make sure that he's healthy and okay, and they hand him to you. And for the rest of his life, he is your responsibility. And I think that that was more so the pressure, or not even the pressure, but just the fear of becoming a mother and not wanting to make any mistakes and not wanting to, you know, fail this child. And it was like, okay, game's on. Today's game one. Today's the first day of the rest of my life. And I'm so grateful and I'm so proud of Derek and I because we've been great parents through everything we've been through. And um, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. Like even with the conversation I was having with you guys about relationships, sometimes I just ramble and I just like go from like one topic to another. I don't know. That's just how I am. So I went from talking about one aspect of relationships to another and I guess that was something that was in my mind about just things that we go through but it, it was just sort of that was what was on my mind at that moment and I talked about it but then like tonight Derek came home and um you see when I turned on the vlog he was in the kitchen doing the dishes that's not his responsibility it's mine but like I said we both have our issues and there are things that I do that piss him off just as much as there are things that he does that pisses um me off but that is a part of relationships and that's part of growth is um what i wanted you guys to get out of that is that um just taking pride out of relationship and ego does not belong in a good successful relationship and we still have a far way to go and even you know as we grow and we mature, there's still never going to be a point where we don't argue or we don't piss each other off. I think the difference is because I put myself on camera, um, I put myself out there to be judged and um, that's a vulnerable thing and it's a brave thing to do, but um, I don't know, I guess I can handle it. That's why I share the things that I share with you guys so easily, but just because I say something like right then at that moment doesn't mean that like I'm having relationship problems or anything like that. It's just that if you're in a relationship or if you've ever been in a long-term relationship, then you know exactly what it is to bigger today and to say that to be best friends or anything. That's part of the relationship. And I don't want to leave that part out of my vlogs. I don't want to argue with Derek. We don't really argue like cats and dogs like physically, but just, you know, when things happen and like he pisses me off or I piss him off or one of us is in a bad mood that's unrelated to the other, um, I don't want to leave that out. Like I don't want to give that impression that we are this happy-go-lucky, perfect couple. I want you guys to see the good and the bad. And of course, I would never pull out a camera while we're arguing and set it up so that you guys can watch us argue. That's you know, obviously taking it too far, but like I said, you know, we're going to get married this year and we're excited about that and we have so much planned for YouTube, for our family, for um, our lives together, but we don't expect it to be perfect and we don't think that there's anything wrong with it not being perfect. Like, we don't, it's okay for him to get an attitude. It's okay for me to get an attitude. And I just want to make that clear because I feel like when I was editing that video or when I was editing today, that's kind of a point where I was like, when I was editing um, the video right before I came down here to work out, I kind of almost didn't post it because I was like, the camera cut off. So you didn't really see, or I didn't really truly get my point across. So I didn't want to, put it out there and then give you guys this wrong or false impression that like we were arguing it was like this big you know huge thing when it wasn't but I just decided F it just post it you know don't delete it don't feel the need to delete footage because it really was you know part of what I felt at that moment but it wasn't a big deal you know what I mean but anyways, I am obviously late back upstairs. Not late, but I just hope that Diamond is not up crying, keeping Derek up crying. Because when I left, he was sleeping. So hopefully, so hopefully he's still sleeping. 